2021 Jaguar F-Pace S Review, Technological Revamp But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. There are plenty of very good luxury SUVs out there, but line any of them up alongside the 2021 Jaguar F-Pace, and Britain's stylish alternative should be one of the clear-cut favorites in looks alone. With its name and design inspired by the F-Type sports car, the F-Pace is still one of the best-looking SUVs in the class, and for 2021, slight tweaks to the exterior only help its cause. Beyond fresh visuals, though, the F-Pace improves its cabin experience in a number of ways. It features better materials, more tech, and some niche touches that could only come from Jaguar. And as always, the F-Pace is a dynamic choice, with a powerful inline-six engine option that lends further credence to its sporty credentials. Like we said, the Jaguar F-Pace is still one of the prettiest luxury SUVs out there, even though it hasn't changed all that much for this year. The Jag's clean lines, perfect proportions, and simple but stunning characteristics make it appealing from every angle. For 2021, the F-Pace gained sleeker side vents, a la SVR, and new headlights, plus some additional detailing in the rear. An available black pack adds an especially sinister touch. The updated exterior is subtle, and that's not a bad thing. Our car sports a $650 Iger gray paint that, at a minimum, is inoffensive. But if you're paying that much for color, brighter hues like Firenze Red and Blue Fire Blue are better options. The standard shoes on the S model are 19 inches, but our tester gets the 21-inch option, $1,600, for a sportier look. There are even 22-inch wheels available, with the most expensive set costing up to $3,700. Jaguar implemented its most meaningful visual changes inside, the dash is basically brand new. There's less clutter in the center console, more high-end leather on the dash and armist, and additional aluminum fixtures throughout, replacing some of the hard black plastics of the previous generation. The addition of the brand's Pivi Pro infotainment system helps with that newfound stunning simplicity, as well. The sleek 11.4-inch curved screen, housed within an ultra-thin display, eliminates the ugly bezels found on the previous setup and makes for a really modern look. And just below that center screen is a plaque that reads, Est. 1936 Jaguar Coventry. It's a subtle addition that makes the interior all that much better. Thanks in part to the new 16-way front seats with perforated Windsor leather, $2,325, the 2021 F-Pace feels properly comfortable. Beyond the seats, this SUV is easy going around town, smooth and refined on the highway, and quiet until you get up to higher speeds. There is some road noise at high speeds, but not enough to meet the mark of offensive. The 37.8 inches of headroom and 43 inches of legroom in the front compartment aren't the best figures in the class, the BMW X3, 41.1, 40.3, and Mercedes-Benz GLC, 39.6, 40.8, are both better. But the Jag is barely more compact than its rivals from the driver's seat, the slimming down of elements on the center stack makes the cabin feel airy. On top of that, Jaguar added extra storage in the door compartments, as well as a totally new center console with more space. The second row is tighter, in part due to the Jag's sloped roofline and smaller greenhouse, and the 37.5 inches of headroom and 37.2 inches of legroom are again on the lower end of the class. But that's not to say that the second row is cramped, there's still enough head and leg room for your six-foot-tall author, with ample butt and back support from the Windsor leather bench. We love the new 11.4-inch curved display inside of the F-Pace, both for the way it looks and for the improved user interface. The external housing is thin, the graphics are well-designed and crisp, and the menu is easy to decipher. The new Pivi Pro interface arranges each option within a row of vertically-oriented boxes, with quick access touch options on the left-hand side of the screen for features like home, audio, navigation, and more. This is one of the better infotainment layouts in the class, with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto also standard, although both are wired connections. Unfortunately, the Jaguar loses some points for usability, the company still hasn't fully worked out last year's bugs. Touch responsiveness is poor and trying to select an option is hit or miss, it sometimes takes more than one finger push to get the desired menu item to open and the slight lag when loading makes it that much more frustrating to use. The F-Pace's steering wheel borrows the haptic feedback controls from the I-Pace, located on the spokes at 9 and 3 o'clock, which are meant to control the digital cluster. But the layout is cluttered, 
And with so many options set so close to one another, accidental inputs are a common occurrence. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.